All right, you're welcome back. It's time for newspaper review. This is TV3 New Day. And so quick one, daily guide. And um, thanks to Mr. George AC for that magic he worked for me. We'll talk about that later on. But Daily Guy says that Nana picks Anin Yeboah as Chief Justice. And we'll be talking about that. Women's mansions are up for sale as well. And the Safu Mafu in court over surcharge. IGP assures public safety during Yuletide. Yesterday, there were some incidents that occurred on the road. Um, it didn't look good at all. And teachers call off Mahama Arias strike. And that's what they're calling it now. Interesting, right? <laughs> Very interesting. Let's go on to the Daily Guide. And this one says that we'll deal with criminals, IGP wants. And also we've got it. Anini Yeboah is Chief Justice designate, subject to the approval of Parliament. And teachers call off strike. But they're saying that after 10, ten days, when the injunction um, is raised, they will head back into the strike. And so we'll talk about that as well. Publisher says teachers strike again in 10 days. And Nini Yeboe replaces Sophia Akufu and Killer Track fails break in market. Akufu Ado is set to meet journalists today and so there'll be a lot of questions that'll be posed uh, to him and we're waiting for the answers to all those questions as well. I can just imagine the strike, CST charges and what's being done, especially because the position says that they should take off the 50% charge on CST and so what's going to happen to that and a lot more other things as well. And finally, Gold Street Business says that national export development strategy ready for cabinet. Regulatory measures are at sex stalls plants, one district, one factory investment fund, and consumer inflation rises sharply. In the studio today, I have Mr. George AEC. He is the communications director for NADMO. Good morning and welcome. Yeah, good How morning, are you doing? Bella. I'm good, my grace. Easy Friday, huh? Yeah. I know, and you're paying so much for communication, right? You see. It's expensive. So what are we doing about it? Are we going to do something about it? Oh, uh, the bundles the CST. and the... Mm, oh, yes. Just, oh. The youth are bleeding. You know, Yesterday right, there was right. a hashtag that said national bleeding. National bleeding. Everybody's right. bleeding some way, somehow. Wow. Weather communications. Uh, pockets, tags, everything. Oh, tax. general. Yeah. The, oh, you know, we're fixing things. Hmm. The processes of fixing. Sometimes you get some challenges. I see. Like, like I liken it to the farmer, you know. You clear the land, you then and then... You know, so at what point are we? Plant, are we and then, you know, are we burning we now? We are almost getting to the harvesting time. Really? So yeah, we planted? Yeah. We've oh. planted and then, you know. I thought uh, we're in the burning uh, process no, no, now. No, 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 no. I see. <laughs> anyway, and also in the studios, we have lawyer Abraham Amaliba. He's a member of the communications and legal team of the NDC. Good morning and welcome. How are you doing? Good morning. Good morning. Everything okay? Very well. I am. But uh, the economy is excruciating. So yeah. you cannot be well when. You are living in an economy that is not um, one that profits some hope. Mm. Wow. So, and that is a larger picture. When you go out there, you hear all those. I wish today some of your journalists will ask the president mm -hmm. what his 125 ministers have done so far for this okay. country. Wow. Because when he was appointing them, and uh, there was hue and cry about the number, he said that, wait. Mm -hmm. till we see their output yeah. so the question is three years down the line mr president are you satisfied with the output yeah, with excellent. the cry of the mm. people of this country excellent. i would have asked him that question. let me ask you excellent. that as well are you satisfied oh no no, no 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 it cannot be corruption is on the rise wow. what is now happening is even not corruption but what i will call uh, organized crime now what, That's we, what you call it? yes now what we see is organized crime by a certain cabal from the president's family look at pds Look at the people who are involved in all those issues. Mm -hmm. So you see that now, it's not just a contractor taking his money and giving you 20% as a minister. It's now hijacking all state institutions and milking it like a cow. Do we have evidence to indicate that people have I've just hijacked. given you PDS. I've just given okay. you PDS. Uh, but you know? they, well, government so, says there were problems that they identified so, much later, yeah, and that's why they decided we, to... Decided but who are those us. at the back of... Who are those, when you lift the veil? The faces you see, who are they? You are a lawyer. Okay. You can go to court ah, to compel the, uh -huh. them to be exposed. If indeed you see, you, you think he's not answering case. the question I've asked. I've who asked. are the people? Lawyer Maliba, uh, do you know, you know who these people are? Yeah. And like you said, I mean, as yeah. a lawyer, could you not go to court and fight and do what? the system? <laughs> and do what? And fight this issue. He has given contract to his cronies, his uh, family members, his uh, friends. Wow. What can I do? What if they are competent? In Why the there are... Bella. Oh. If they are competent enough, yeah. it's only the present family member who are competent. 
the me from he hasn't only somebody from Bukubu or he hasn't only appointed oh, family members. There are a lot is, of people. This I don't is think the Mr. first George time. I see here is a family member. This is the first this, time. But he we, has been appointed. Uh, you just talked about first leg. Who I'm knows just saying. He, he, I'm just no, that's all. <laughs> what we are always saying is that yeah. friends, family members. Who knows he doesn't fall within the friends category. Now, what I'm saying is that. Are you a friend? What I'm saying is that. What I'm saying is that. <laughs> when you look at the massive corruption in this wow. administration. It is because the president has appointed his people at places and he cannot fire them. So they too, they sit there and say, oh, now President Crow, I am there. Was there no massive corruption under the NDC? And what did they say? Are we going back or we are going forward? Pardon? Do you look forward or you, you also put, you look back? Well, we do look forward, but yeah. just yes. sometimes so what you did have they to say? remind people of the past Exactly. Well. And when they were campaigning, what did they say? Didn't they say they were going to exercise... The, the spirit of corruption in this country. Yeah. In fact, they were so touting Akufado. They said Akufado was an incorruptible. Yeah, he is. Uh -huh. Until today, he is. Okay. okay. Bella, something, the irony of what the uh, lawyer just said is mm -hmm. I have a stake. I'm interested in perpetuating the corrupt act to benefit myself. Okay. okay? And as a result, pay the act claim of giving contracts to my cronies. Okay? Yeah. And then I take steps to uh, impede that the execution of a project that is going to give me uh, a largesse. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I don't see the wisdom but, in that. No, but because what should be done I could have that? allowed them to go on, okay, mm -hmm. unfitted, execute the pro contract for me to get my cuts, right? Yeah. And yet, <laughs> I, the one who stands to benefit from the corrupt process, I'm impeding the process. But what is being done wow, to the I people? I don't get that. Yeah, but US, if you, I, I had people. an alibi in the United States saying, mm -hmm. continue with the uh, 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 contract. With the contract, Okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. And I have interest there. Mm. Uh, I've gotten a cut blanch to move on and then enrich myself. I said, no, I'm not going to do that. What kind of... But what happens to well, the money that has been lost? That. What happens to the people who uh, made sure that this deal went Oh, through? no, no. These issues, you know, whatever it is, there's uh, a, a thorough, detailed, you know, uh, investigations into the matter mm. to see if there's any law. Because people had made allegations that whatever happened in between the period where they operated, if there's financial loss and co. So we are looking at that. But the MPP has been talking about investigations, ongoing investigations, yeah. and we're not even hearing anything. And the question is, how long are we going to have to wait for investigations to take place before we start prosecuting people if well, found guilty? Go, no, no, but you need to get a report before you move to court. But it's you taking forever. You, 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 oh, it's not taking forever. When did we abrogate the PDS contract? I'm not only talking about PDS, oh, I'm talking other, about a lot of oh, other oh, 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 oh. But that's, issues that's that have finality that has been brought to uh, some of them, you know, even the PDS, when it started, there were processes, some 30 days and mm. all that, and, and all has been thoroughly investigated a report aided in the decision to abrogate or stop the So you contract. can assure us that if yes. you should win, yes. if, yes. even though yeah. the NDC don't when, think that when, you would, when, when, but when, if when, you should when, win, well, no, I would when. choose to use if. When. Because Bella. we can never tell what's going to happen. Check the Afro uh, barometer. The Afro alternative is the alternative. Of no, are no, not the sure alternative is not vote. being considered and at all. Vote for. And do you get it? When, when a certain percentage says we are not going to vote, do you know what it does? No. It's, it's, it's worrying, but it's not a problem How in the computation and our constitution. Our constitution, unlike referendum, doesn't give a, a ceiling that if 10% of people do not turn out to vote, the resource is nullified. You get it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't say that. And so if a certain percentage say they are not going to vote, those who are going to vote will decide. It's still a reflection of what Ghanaians <laughs> are thinking. Oh, no, 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 definitely, 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 definitely. And we are taking it. These people vote voted. The most important thing is that, in spite of that, mm -hmm. they are not looking at the opposition as the alternative. That is not true. That is interesting. That is not true because no, in, in, because in, in computation, you get we have something we call inverse relationship mm -hmm. and then direct relationship. Yeah. In the inverse relationship, you see, whilst one is going, the other yeah, is benefiting. Climbing, yeah. You get it. No. But that is not the case. But it's see, constant. While see, the other is coming. But then the, 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 I mean, the, the report, <laughs> the report from the University of Ghana Political Science Department that says that uh, Akufado will not get a first round victory mm -hmm. and will go to second round. Yeah. It's a clear indication that you are losing because in this no, country, in no. this country, the history is that and, when you go for a second true. round, it's the opposition that wins. No. Now, if no. A, a chunk of Ghanaians say they won't vote, mm -hmm. and these people voted the last time, yes, 
What what wrong have you have you committed to those people who said that they but it doesn't matter. It is a commentary. That is a commentary. It's a commentary on the percentage computation. It's a conversation here that a lot of Ghanaians are saying that we are not sure if we're voting for MPP, but we don't even know if we're still voting for NDC. And I'm saying that so the alternative is scary. Good. So they have made up their mind that we will vote for the MPP, but we are not sure we vote for the NDC. That means the MPP has no, lost them. No, they haven't made no, up their mind no, they won't vote for the MPP. They are no. just not it's sure who to vote for. No, no, say they no. Because they, I'm they saying that you don't understand me. Mm -hmm. These people voted. Yeah. What in local parlance? What has NPP done to them? Crap. Yeah, that's now they are saying. <laughs> they say they don't vote. That's them. You ask those questions. Mm. Oh no, but you should ask you those see, questions. No. It means that the governance they are of these countries no. has been so disappointing no. that they have become dissolution. Say, no. oh no. But the Bella. same way they are so also saying point. that we don't even know if we want the NDC. <laughs> and and I'm telling you that <laughs> there is a report that says that we'll go for a second round. Okay. Oh, and no. we know in this country, mm -hmm. when you go for a second round, the opposition wins. No, that's that, that's the no, point, Bella. Mm -hmm. I was so saying if I were me, a research member, the, of the person NDC, who should be most 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 worried about this report, which is saying that the economy is in the wrong direction, which is saying that Afro which which is saying that which is I'm not talking. about, There are a lot of reports. Oh, there's one, there's one, there's one different one side. I said no, no. Imani, Imani, thank you. Imani, Imani, Imani. Imani <laughs> just gave a report. About 48, yeah. yeah. Yes, 48. again, just gave a report. Almost 50%. 48 is not... 7, 8. You've not crossed the line. Almost the you've not crossed the line. Yeah. I am saying that most of these things you find no, in the report... It's one touch. No, wait. <laughs> oh, most of these things that you find in a report will normally be happening to a government that is in its eight years. Yes. Mm. This, this, I won't vote, I don't like them, I, I don't do this, will normally happen in eight years mm. in this country. Mm. But yeah. if in your third year you are having such things, you should be worried. Oh, we are. Yeah. Anyway, we what are. has happened to the uh, yeah. whole of the loop the of, here, about your, your, your victory? And let me really yes. check the this euphoria quickly about your victory. What yeah. has happened to us? Oh, no, no. So, it's, yes, it's, the NDC is saying you. that the government is not pulling its weight. They are not doing very well. But at least the MPP says that we have a manifesto and we're sticking to that. Come 2020 elections, the question here is, the NDC has not even told us what plans they have for us, if we should even want to vote for them, for us to be convinced to a certain extent that we want the NDC. What are the plans? What are the I policies? Am, I am shocked that people still keep on asking this. Check. When the MPP started saying, one this, one this, mm -hmm. was it a year before elections? When they said uh, one passenger, one trotro, one uh, 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 taxi driver, one uh, uh, petrol petro gallon. Is that what they said? W w was that? Was that? Was that? Was <laughs> oh, that yeah. w w w <laughs> did they say it before the... You remember when we started? No, no. Mm -hmm. When we started, we were saying that they didn't have a message. And we are saying that uh, you remember you remember if you are not you remember Bella, have you they didn't have a message they, on, they didn't put out their message early in the day but at least we knew about free shs ah, free shs at was least we a knew matter about it. that akufado used long time ago so that was what the i am saying people. is that mm -hmm. what i'm saying is that even the, uh, the leader of the party has made pronouncements for instance we talked about abolishing Double track. Is that not a policy? Okay. When we told them that oh, we were wow. going to, when we told them we were going to abolish the vehicle, this uh, uh, that obnoxious tax, yeah. the tax, that foolish tax. When we told them, we were going to, didn't they quickly go and pull it? We are in politics. We will not tell them our ideas, and they will start amending their ways. Okay, we so that's why you're not putting it out there. No, wait till three no, years. Wait, you come wait. With your I'm saying that, and yeah. you're running. It is me. not time yet. We are not in. in wait, <laughs> next year. When will it be time? Next year. We've next not, year. Look, we have not even uh, elected our, no, okay. not our vice uh, uh, candidate. Yeah, yeah. You get yeah, have you heard so that? So you want to know that rumor? before? The Ghana. No, no. I'm not saying, saying that. I'm saying that these things will be done in the election year. Okay. Okay. They are done in the election year. May that not be a little too late? No, no. Is that that's what I'm saying? That go back to my first submission. Mm. When did they start when saying one district, one dam? From us, anyway. When did they say one district, one dam, or one village, one dam? When did they say one factory, one? <laughs> it was in the election year. Oh, okay. so are you sure? So the main <laughs> message now is to abolish Wait. the double track, yeah. at least for now. As we move along, mm -hmm. we even talked about reforming judicial education. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. when we made the Ghana Bar Association. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. As the leader meets people, he teases out. You okay. won't listen to those ones. Okay. Okay. Like before I like that. Proceed, okay. Yeah. yeah. The, 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 I'll let you touch on this quickly. So that, Ghana mm -hmm. Web Publication. That some one of their own is alleging that he's paid four million to their candidates. Four million dollars. To do what? Uh, to become vice president. Yeah. To become uh, the running mate. Is that Ghana what Web, happens? Ghana Web Publication. Pay, pay is that, all over. Pay to who? Okay. And what does the story say? Who did they pay to? I'm going to try and find it. The candidates. Candidates. Okay. Yes. The, the candidates, the candidates are is paying. taking. If I want to be the oh, running the mate, yeah. I'm alleging one of their own who surprisingly said he was not contesting for parliament again. Somebody we thought should have been in parliament mm -hmm. said I'm not going because his seat was just there. Nobody could take it from him. He says he's not going to parliament again. So now we've, we're reading something that he says he's giving some four million. I'm going to try and find <laughs> that story just so that we're sure. To the it. candidates. Oh. It's, it's okay. all over. It's flying on social media. No, I'll try and find it. I will try and find it. Our candidates, yes. our vice president. Yes. The, the, the leader has no final say. On yes, it. I know. Okay. In our party, the leader has no final say. But, but are people paying some money? Who are you paying some money? Who are money for, for what? pay a certain money to support the campaign Who? before we can make you the running mate? Is that true? Yes. Yes. How? Okay. Oh, we want right. on social we media. Want... It's all over. Uh, so everything on social media. If you have that link, I will send it to you. I'm trying to find it. I'm trying to find it. But let's move on and talk about reformation of the system, the justice system and legal education in the country. And that begins the conversation about the Chief Justice uh, appointee, uh, Anin Iyeboa, who has been picked by the President subject to approval by Parliament. And a section of, you know, government officials are saying it's a good thing that the President has done, especially because this man here is one of the people who has been touting the idea of transforming legal education in the country. However, opposition NDC um, says that it should have gone to someone else and not to Mr. Uh, lawyer Justice An Anin Yeboa. And so that's the conversation that has started this morning. I'm trying to find that particular story, um, you know, that says that it should have gone to someone. I'll still find it anyway. But let me start off with um, lawyer Abraham Maliba. Are you aware of this issue concerning um, the fact that your party thinks it should have gone to someone else and not Justice Anin Yeboa? Well, let me formally now greet your <laughs> viewers. Mm. Having come out of the, the heated debate yeah. on the economy. And good morning to my friend. Yeah. Good morning, lawyer. Well, yes, a quick one. It says that the ranking member on Parliament's Constitutional Legal and Parliamentary Affairs Committee, Inusa Fuseni, has expressed disappointment with the nomination of Justice Anin Yeboa as the new Chief Justice. Now, according to him, the most senior justice at the Apex Courts, Justice Jones Doche, should have been nominated instead. So, lawyer, yes. back to you. I am not surprised at the nomination of Enimi Yeboa. Okay. As far as 2nd December, mm -hmm. I heard the news and I got the information that it was going to be Justice Enimi Yeboa. Indeed, when the presidency invited both Enimi Yeboa and Justice Doche to the Flagstaff House, yeah. I was aware. Okay. When they came out of the meeting, I heard the results, what it was about. Mm. So even I, I, I placed on the NDC legal team platform that confirmed Enimi Yeboa to be made chief justice. So I'm not surprised. Okay. But for me, once you rise through the ranks to become a Supreme Court judge, the possibility of you becoming a chief justice is a given. Mm. And so competence... I'm not going to challenge it. But you see, the Constitution talks about, in appointments, the Constitution talks about regional balance. Mm -hmm. This country can be divided broadly into four. I'm not saying we are divided into four, but broadly, okay. which means that there are subgroups. And so one would want to look at the top four. In English League, they will say top four. Mm. Who are those occupying the top four? And whether there's a need to tamper with the position of the top four. Currently, the president, who belongs to the Akan group, is a president. The vice president from the Northern from Stock, the, North, yeah. the Speaker of Parliament, Da Adangbe. Yeah. Then we had the Chief Justice, also Akan. And so that was misalignment. Mm. One thought that with the opportunity presented to the president, that we have an ever 
person who would belong to that stock, the president would have done the honorable to ensure that the top four is well balanced. And that would have been Jesse Dochin, in my view. In your view, okay. Competence, both of them are competent. And so, once again, the people of the Volta region have been left out in the cold for me mm. when it comes to the appointment under this administration. They should, could have had one of their illustrious sons to occupy that position. So it's not that you don't think that Justice Enin is not competent. I have talked he to, is you, competent. I've told yes. you about competence. But yeah. then if, the, if both are competent, then what would separate the, the two? What would, I would have thought that the issue of this regional geographical balance would have mm. been taken into consideration. So your top four will be occupied in such a way that each area will feel included. Yeah. That we lost. Okay. As to whether, and you see the Chief Justice should be somebody who has judicial balance and judicial temperament, mm -hmm. particularly when it comes to politically charged cases are we assured that we can get this from Justice Enim? These are questions I'm asking. Mm -hmm. Because during the Supreme Court uh, uh, election hearing, those of us who were in the court were not excited about the posture of Justice Enim. Why? Indeed, one of Ghana's foremost legal luminaries, Tajuchi Kata, had caused to complain even on your program what issues this mm. program about him so when it gets to judicial balance and judicial temperament regarding politically charged cases are we comfortable to have him as the chief justice these are questions that people will ask mm. and so for me it's it's a lost opportunity for the people of the Volta region, from OT region, that group of people who had the opportunity. And don't forget that Justice Duchess' name came up when um, they were going to appoint um, um, the current the, chief justice. The chief justice, yes. Justice yes, Sophia Akufu. Yes. Came up strongly. Um, there were those who raised this issue of regional balance and thought that, yes, it's time that we have just to come in to seal the regional yeah. balance thing. Again, because yeah. Sophia Kufu wanted yes. the female representative at one, yeah. and then two, two, because she was almost retiring and Jesse Joche had a few years, it was prudent to say, okay, you take it and go. Yeah. Then the next opportunity will be given to Jesse Joche. Okay. And so this is why. You know, so for example, maybe he's talking about seniority. Mm -hmm. Even though in seniority, they are both at the same the same year. Yeah. They all came out of the law school the same year. But in the judiciary, there's a way to determine who is senior. So for instance, I may be called to the bar with him on the same day. But because my name starts with Amaleba. Yeah. A and he doesn't, his name starts it's with another a -Y. Uh, y. It's a -Y, a y. Maybe if the Y is coming, they call me first, yeah, I'm senior to him. Oh, wow. Apart from that, yeah. for the judges, <laughs> the person who presented himself first on the working day. Mm -hmm. So we are all mates. Yeah. We are all, but the day, that morning, the person who presented himself first wow. is senior. Okay. So that happened to just like Tuguba and. Uh, so fire. Okay. On that day, Atugua got to the office first. Wow. So that makes him also a senior. All right. Uh -huh. So that's where Inusa is coming from. Yeah. Uh -huh. And that's but where you are coming from as well. I am coming up and enlarging it to talk about regional balance regional, yeah. and those matters. And so that's Is this not a subtle attempt to get people of the Volta region a little bit agitated? Because then we're saying that we should have had representatives of the four powers that be, if I may say. And so then uh, the people in the Volta region are going to say, well, because they didn't appoint someone from our region, then we're not going to vote for them. And we'll vote for maybe the opposition, NDC. And I want you to touch on that quickly before... Um, Look, you know, George it has in. always been a legitimate expectation from various groupies in this country to have one of their own to occupy positions. Indeed, if you are listening well yeah. in this country, mm -hmm. 
The guy at Dang Base have always said that under the Fourth Republic, they've never had a president. Indeed, um, that was also the argument used by the MPP when they started saying, oh, there's a president from here. Eastern region has never be gotten a president. So, you did it. Huh? You did it. Who Professor did it? Boss, I didn't American. do anything. <laughs> <laughs> so, those, so you cannot wish away those arguments. Those yeah. arguments will yeah. always come up. And those arguments are legitimate because we all expect one day to see one of our own up there. Mm. It's a, and it's a legitimate expectation. Okay. Even we those who have privilege to appear here, probably when you go to my village, see me this morning, excise somebody, a school child, who thinks that one day I must be like a Malaba. Yeah. So it is a motivating factor. Okay. And we cannot wish it away. George. What do you also think about it? Especially because, like I said, we've been talking about the uh, education, legal education system reform and the fact that, unfortunately, justice, um, you know, um, our current justice, Chief Justice, could not yeah. really get people on her side when she made those comments about yeah. legal education yeah. in the country. And so yeah. finally, there's someone that's been at the forefront of championing this whole idea of yeah. reforming the legal system. And now the NDC says, we don't think he should have been the uh, one. I believe, I believe, uh, good morning to our viewers and yourself and Honorable Amalba. Uh, I believe that would have been one of the major factors uh, His Excellency the President considered, mm. uh, the legal reform uh, argument. And, and again, I understand uh, Justice uh, Doce has a little less than a year or so to to retire. To retire. Yeah. You get it. We just got somebody who did less than two years, right? Yeah. And uh, so we are following uh, from that. We get another one less than a year to go. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe uh, the president felt let's get somebody who will get you know because when you are carrying out reforms, the chief justice current had reforms going on mm. but because of time constraints you know some reforms need time yeah. you know the gestation period and then uh roll out time and so uh if another one is coming after that uh, it will be proper to get somebody who have uh some time to be able to initiate and carry out uh other reforms i i like some of the analogies made by lawyer malba the regional balance and all that is mm. important mm. Uh, and constitutionally uh, we are to consider all those things before certain appointments are made. But okay. when it comes to uh, other strategic institutions like the judiciary, uh, you know, seniority plays a major role. Yeah. And, and I'm happy, you know, he factored it in. But when you consider seniority too, then you look at mm -hmm. the duration as well. And okay. so I believe that His Excellency himself, uh, 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 an astute legal brain, uh, would have factored all these in mm. and then made the ultimate decision to say, uh, let Justice Anin Yabua uh, take the take position over. as of now. So okay. uh, I'm happy. And I'm happy because he's identified with a particular theme legal reforms, which is important at this point. Mm. All law students watching us this morning will be saying, whoa, we, 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 we love this choice mm. because of what we have, you know, saddled with now. Yeah. You get it. Yeah. Uh, and the issue of thousands something going for exams and 120, and only, yeah. you, you get it. It's, it's, it's worrying. Somebody who's ready to open up the legal space, okay? People are making the argument that it's time we move from Kolebu, eh, sorry, Makola oh, alone, you yeah. get it, and, and be able to say KNUST, UCC, uh, University of Ghana itself, can't we have professional legal education uh, going on there, yeah. you get it? Yeah. So uh, it's about time we get And So if we have a chief justice of nominee who has some of these ideals uh, to roll out, uh, we should be grateful to him. Would you and say so that Chief Justice Sophia Kufu has become unpopular after those comments? And so maybe that alone may have marred her success um, as Chief Justice in no, the country. No, I don't think she, she is. The people were not happy. We we're yeah. actually not happy with that uh, conservative position. Mm -hmm. uh, that, you know, you, 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 once upon a time, I listened to one of the law professors at uh, University of Ghana, uh, his uh, young professor, mm. uh, forward looking. Uh, he had made the argument that once upon a time, Bella, your name alone would determine whether, whether you, know, you make it, you or, make not. it or not. Yeah. You get it. So your family, are you, uh, 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 what's the former speaker, this guy, man, uh, the MPP former chairman? 
Uh, the leads. Oh, come on, my own chairman. Alajete. Good, Peter. Peter Alajete. Are you an yes. Alajete? <laughs> you mm, get it mm. before you go to law school because there's a legal tree in your family. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if Amaliba would have died or. <laughs> To do what? <laughs> to go to law school. The first of his name. <laughs> <laughs> the family. Uh -huh, you get first it. of so his these name. Are, right? Yeah. So yeah. I am uh, happy with the choice. Uh, okay. But to be honest with you, personally, I had attachment to uh, Justice Duche being named uh, the, the Chief Justice. In fact, I was looking forward okay. uh, to that. Even though he had only just a year to retire? No, no. I didn't factor that okay. in. And so okay. when the president made the choice, then I said, okay. I it's understand it. I understand it. So uh, let's let it go. And the issue of the minority wanting to incite the Voltarians. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you see, I get worried when the issue of tribalism and co begin to come into these things. But okay. sometimes, some are constitutional matters. Okay. And so uh, we need to respect the constitutional tenets. Yes, yeah. yes. No, I yeah. agreed with you. Yeah. I agreed with him on that. But if you take it beyond that to lead to inciting, then uh, it's worrying. Bella, last one. Uh, the NDC have the opportunity, the issue of having a gun person to be in Provazalabi. Mm -hmm. They blew it. They blew it. <laughs> they blew it. <laughs> so why is the MPP not given that opportunity then? This is the then? time. You know, they would have... Professor Allah, be fine, man. Yeah. But will that know, opportunity you know that? ever come with the MPP? No. Because from oh, we hope that so. one is elective. We hope so. Mm. Yes. Elective, you so have no just, choice. No, you can but do. But to go and take a vote. You can do but lobby. But where is an opportunity to, vote, uh, to appoint? Appoint. Like in the case where we <laughs> thought that, look, the chief justice must be a yes, woman. And I'll yes, appoint a woman. Yes. And we they, went they ahead and still did it. So those are the things we have And the last one, this woman issue. I'm happy I'm long 12 years down the line. Man is back. I was hoping a woman would. Oh, oh. Well, I was hoping, especially because the president says that he tr he's trying his possible oh, best to give a balance. Yes. Hey. And they've acquitted themselves well. But okay. still, anyway. But for that, uh, legal reforms comment, you know. Don't worry, Attorney General is still female, so we'll manage it. We'll manage it, it. it. But hopefully, we'll get another uh, female Chief Justice. So, quick one lawyer, Duzi is watching, and he says okay. that that um, issue about Ghana Web, uh, a story in Ghana Web yeah. is a lie. And okay. he sent me okay. um, a statement that says that the attention of Holy FM Naflao has been drawn to a story on Ghana Web dated okay. Wednesday, Good. 11 December yeah. 2019 with the headline, Mahama selling vice presidential Good. slot. Um, and this is from Fifi Kwete. He you. says that we refuse the publication by the said news portal Thank and you. completely disassociate ourselves from the story. The publication is wholly false, inaccurate, malicious, ill-conceived, and mischievous. And it's on this record that since January 2019 till date, Honorable Fifi Kwete has not granted any interview to any radio station. We therefore urge the public to disregard that's the good. publication and that's so a disclaimer. Saying, three oh, okay. days it there's no true. disclaimer three days that's why i decided to anyway it here. We, we still have more coming up and so, <laughs> so keep watching he owes, yeah. me. He yeah. owes you he for, owes this. Me for this i see well he's watching so let's see if we can resolve that issue it's newspaper review i'm here with lawyer abraham amaliba mm -hmm. and mr george iec we'll be back with more keep watching yeah. Are you happy with the development in your community? So what do you do about it? Ladies and gentlemen, we are just about to open the phone lines to get your opinion on this matter. Specialize in Syria on Me, I'm just watching all. I see the photo. Me, I'll complain, sir. <laughs> we are praying for Mother Ghana has shifted things in the spirit. Yes! But there's something more you can do. Vote December 17th. This year? Yes. This year, December 17th, is when you elect assembly and unit committee members. Your votes will do more to change what you don't like than you think. So come December 17th, vote. This message is brought to you by CDD Ghana, Kodio, with support from the USAID. There 
this one great friend of my family who I want to introduce to you. This friend is the pivot of energy, so it's in our breakfast, lunch, and even dinner, and the family loves it. Mmm, it tastes so good. Mmm, it's creamy. My family is craving for this Papa Nunu non diary. The secret is it tastes good and creamy. Mmm, it also brings family together. This advertisement has been vetted and approved by the FDA. Next FM was Centred Fair. Next FM was Centred Fair. Twenty nineteen. It was the full of Bronya. Afia. Oh, make it the Why are lamping? Next FM was Centred Fair. Now when you there, for one summer, the the world for some for your market. It's Jackson. Ninety nine. And on to the nine. Wednesday, eleven to it's a woman delay. Friend was zero two four five seven eight. Another seven eight eight six. That you space. C- connect FM Western Trade Fair twenty nineteen. Zambia, I say Zambia. They jump Connect FM Western Trade Fair twenty nineteen. Why yeah? Lampay. Media partners TV3, Onuya TV, 3FM, Onuya FM, Akuma FM, and 3news.com. Western Trade Fair 2019 is brought to you by MTN Momo. The race to start on Ghana's biggest reality show has taken off. Oh, yeah. Follow four accomplished music legends, Bessa Simons, Apietus, Adam, and Adina, as they mentor their talents to stardom. Don't miss the exciting journey as we discover a new music star to win a two-bedroom house and the bragging rights of being the winner of TV3 Mentor Reloaded. Get ready for a new music star. Make a date this and every Sunday at 8 p.m. TV3 Mentor Reloaded. Four celebrated mentors, just one. Winner, Mentor takes you higher. Brought to you by Heaven Black Mosquito Quell and Insecticide Spray and Napa Mackerel, Feco Spray Starch, Sasso Insecticide Spray and Quell, Cocoa Dairy Free Coconut Milk, Roma Insecticide Spray and Quell, Shine Tomato Paste, Vital Mineral Water, Old Mutual Life Insurance, Baby Med, Savannah Paint, Adonko, ABC Hair Relaxer. on the lake yes boxing day 26 december join 3fm 92.7 and dirty world as we take part in to another level yes a notch higher on on the volta lake Lake. all night long under the stars from 9 p.m to 5 a.m with grills drinks along with great music and entertainment as we cruise on the Dodie Princess, come have fun with your favorite 3FM presenters, DJs, and celebrities. Right, VVIP table for four 2000 Ghana CDs comes with one bottle of Ciroc, two gold labels, one liter it's Coke, energy drink. VIP table for four 1600 Ghana CDs comes with one bottle of Ciroc and one gold label, one liter Coke, energy drink. Regular table for four 1400 Ghana CDs comes with one gold label, one liter Coke, it's and energy drinks. All rates in. Include the crews, drinks, grills, and many more. This is the first ever party on the lake all night long. December 26th, the all white party on the lake is powered by 3FM 92.7, supported by Volta Hotel, Dodi Weld, Gold Label, and Ciroc. Not suitable for persons below age 18. Limited space available for reservations. Call 0244 405027 or 0541 159715. Media partners, TV3, 3news.com. It's a shutdown team. 
from across our great nation, Frytol is searching to unnet talents. Watch as our contestants cook with Frytol's amazing range of products. Cooking scales at its best. The prize, a life-changing business investment of 100,000 Ghana cities, courtesy of Frytol Wilma Africa. Who will be the first ever Frytol Enriching Lives Cooking Champion? Brought to you by Frytol. Frytol Enriching Lives. A nothing talent, fulfilling dreams. Watch the biggest reality cooking show at 6 p.m. every Saturday. Back to TV3 New Day and we're just a few minutes into our discussions on newspaper review. In the studios I have lawyer Abraham Amaliba. He is a member of the legal and communications team of the NDC and Mr. George AEC is the communications director for NADMO. But before we go back to our conversation, we'll be talking about the teacher strike and how they've decided to call it off and wait till the 10 days injunction is over so they can resume the strike. Let's go to Crystal and find out yes, what people are saying. we have comments coming in All right. from our audience this morning. Uh, first one Bella just relax when the just relax when the right time comes I believe the opposition party will do their need for it with regards to the running mates and manifesto Ghana deserves better from the current government that is what we need that's from Aram in New Adenta good morning TV3 please Bella tell lawyer Amalba to get serious uh, at things rather than doing those childish politics because it won't oh. help him in his NDC and his NDC party in any way. Hashtag four more for Nana. That's from Malcolm what Dalla. What has he done to you? Scene, you know? <laughs> uh, Abdul from Tamale says, Bella, this political party, these political parties and our so-called political leaders have nothing good to offer us. Not the MPP, nor the NDC. So why won't a chunk of Ghanaians say they won't vote? Fact is that most of the youth have lost faith in not only our leaders but ourselves too. I sometimes sometimes weep for my redundancy over three years of completing my tertiary education. God save us. Bella, I also I so admire your questioning skills. Yeah. So apt you make me love yeah. the show more. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Good morning, TV3. All concerned, Ghanaian, uh, Ghanaians must resist with all their might the attempt by the EC to compile a new biometric voter register. This exercise may be used to suppress votes. Hashtag mm -hmm. resist a new voter biometric register. That's from Osman Bukurisung in Tamale. Good morning, TV3. Can you please ask George AEC when NADMO is going to pay the arrears of NADMO staff employed from 2013 to wow. 2015 as promised? Wow. I voted for MPP because of this promise as Mahama failed wow. to pay us. Michael Kumi from Kumasi yeah, says that. Um, Mukaila Jonas Adia inside Kerry. Kerry, so, Kerry says, um, so it means that nothing... Um, so it means that nothing will Akufuado do that appeals to the NDC's eyes. Do you know that the appointment of JNN Yeboa has uh, given the NDC another hypocritical task? They started delving into all the rulings made by the man during the 2012 <laughs> election petition hearing, hearing just to conclude that he's an NPP member. Oh. Fear NDC and save your life. Good morning. Uh, Please tell the lawyer that, that the fact yeah. that I will not vote for MPP means I will go for NDC is a big no. That's from Al Sang. Mm. Amalba, you are much you are macho now when the NDC was in power. You are macho now when the NDC was in power. You were slim. Oh wow! But you are now doing well thanks to MPP oh. and stop your propaganda. You are <laughs> a lawyer. A lawyer. Lawyer know how to, to talk. How you to talk? You are always biased. This is uh, MTK member at Kologu in the Upper That's East nice. Asian, yeah, Navrongo. He nice. said, come home. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Home. Good morning, Bella. <laughs> Please tell the MPP man to stop deceiving himself yeah. because we are witnesses to what the government is doing. Poor roads, zero infrastructure, obnoxious taxes, among others. Sure? That's from Sir Kish inside Kwame Dan. So greetings to Mr. Fuseni Gambo and our last comment for this morning. Good morning, TV3. I'm Sami from TM. Uh, please tell Mr. Yisi to stop <laughs> laughing. He laughs over everything. He needs to be, be serious for once. Okay. I have also realized that the reader of the messages deliberately de deletes 
um, deletes or ignores the messages of the MPPs. Please oh. Pro, um, be professional oh, in your good. job. Amalba <laughs> is full of mischief, NDC and That's Eregan. not we, true. We, 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 we try we to read everyone's many, message. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Time doesn't allow us to read everything. I know. So. But thank you so much, Crystal. Thank you, too. Thank you very much. And quick one. So Nash Shade says that I completed NSS August uh, this year and many of my colleagues uh, who use the GN Bank have not received our allowances, not to think of transportation allowance as well. Somewhere late October, they paid few of us. Why am I telling you this? I want some people somewhere to be held accountable for their actions. Yeah. Rumor has it that we will not be paid. Can you please help us by probing further? We'll try and ask questions and see what can be done about it. But your people are saying that there are allowances as well. Yeah. Have not no, been. no, no. It's, it's a problem. I, I, when we came into office, we encountered it. And the, the challenge was that they were given appointment, and then those appointment letters were withdrawn, and then a new one given them. Mm. But they had worked. So they said, no, between those peers, they should have been paid. But yeah. before the, that was that, I think there was an engagement with their leadership, mm. okay? And they agreed to take the new one. Okay. Okay, and okay. so the then government decided, we are paying you from that point. All right. You get it. Because I think the, 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 the recruitment was done based on, you know, when you are given financial clearance, it expires at the end of the year mm -hmm. if you don't use it. And so he didn't use it. And then when he got into he used it. Suppose he was given 100. He employed 50. Yeah. And left the 50 for the subsequent year. And, and that did that. Expired. And, and, you know, it had a spy. But he thought he still had the 50 and employed them. Okay. And so well, that was the challenge. And it was, you know, this is the briefing the uh, chief that accountant gave Okay. Me, we'll, we'll discuss uh, this much matters. later on. But let's quickly talk about the teachers before our time runs out. So our teachers are saying that, um, yes, they're calling off the strike because of the court injunction obtained by the National Labor Commission. It's a 10-day injunction. But the truth is that if the NLC does not deploy such means again, they will come back um, and continue the strike after 10 days. This is not an issue resolved because then yeah. the teachers are saying we're being forced to go back to the classrooms unwillingly. What we're going to teach the children, we can't promise. And this is a problem because we want our teachers to be, uh, to be excited um, you know, <laughs> doing their job. But now this is what's happening. Yeah, Bella, uh, the teachers love their students. Mm -hmm. uh, Sometimes they say this in the public that what well, we'll teach it well, according to our conscience, but no teacher will do that. Mm. No teacher does that, you know. And so sometimes this anger, the spell of the moment, and they rebut those things. But hey, I'm happy, to be honest with you, I'm so happy the teacher unions, all three of them, have decided to respect the court ruling, mm -hmm. okay, is a good thing. Yeah. And I would want us as a government and the Ministry of Education and Director General Professor Pukwa Mankwa and the team to seize the opportunity uh, to properly re-engage them, you get it, so that within this 10-day uh, uh, period, we can resolve everything. Okay. I had the uh, <clears throat> communications uh, officer of the ministry uh, saying the amount involved is about 80 million. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, it's huge, but I think we can manage it. You get it. And so let's look at it. We've got, we are, yeah, they've said that we are using due process. We are being meticulous to say that we are not paying somebody uh, improperly. Mm -hmm. What it means is that they say some people are supposed to be Oh, senior certain, superintendents, yeah. but they are being paid as directors. Yes, exactly. You get it. And so uh, let's get those things fast tracked. There are people who are being paid twice. Um, uh, yes, you know, so those and things. And yes, yes. Things. And, and because of their meticulous work, they've saved about 11 million yeah. CDs and all that. So that's good for the state. But let's expedite action on that. Let's yeah. fast track it. And then within this 10 days, we'll be able to finish and then pay them this 80 million so they'll be happy go remain in the classroom to do their the work. The education they minister has been asked to apologize to the teachers especially for those comments that he made uh, concerning the fact that he believes that this was politically motivated the strike I mean oh. and and well what do you think because this is not the first time he would have made some comments similar to this you know especially the, the when the education there are some minister issues. Uh, you know by virtue of his position gets national security briefing on some of these matters you get it so uh, uh, I don't know what information he's privy to mm -hmm. that made you make those comments you get it as a teacher but was it myself, not wrong first of all these are teachers uh, who are upset about yes I, as I said, and, and you see sometimes let me advise my leadership uh, in the nagrats and other unions especially the nagrat president he's 
post chai yesterday was very unfortunate very very unfortunate mm. uh, he's one person i've uh, admired you know as a member of nagrat kami alovi was a friend you yeah. know a colleague and then he's been giving us a lot of briefing and me i decided i won't do union work because i've decided to be a politician yeah you get it so i don't believe being politics and then union where the two shouldn't uh, go together so i'm pleading some of those postures can then make people begin to read meaning that yeah. are you a politician or you're a union leader mm. you get it so uh, this i will advise but the minister whatever made him uh, make those comments i, I don't have it okay but uh, the conducts of some of the members can you know, give the pointers that, oh, are you a politician or, or what? not? Yes. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. the teachers, I want to believe they know what they're doing. And, you know, but if you look at the government, having done about 95%. Well, okay, of the commitment that the previous they government paid said, I won't 95%. pay. They haven't paid ninety-five percent. They verified. They said they verified ninety-five percent. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no they paid. Well, that's what they said. No, they, they said it on here. About 5 no, the teacher said they haven't done ninety-five percent. Lawyer, let me bring you. Then they should well, the teacher said, figures. and they I got. I don't remember who said because it. Because I have figures hmm. which. I think the chairman of GS said it that they haven't yes. paid ninety five percent. They oh, only okay. verified ninety five, so well, they paid no. a number. Of, he did yeah, say it on lot. this platform. Yes. But let me okay. bring lawyer in as well. We have we handled this the best way possible. The minister of education, who is suffering from verbal diarrhea, has not helped the situation in some of the comments he has made. And I want to disagree with you if you say that he may be receiving national security briefings. Don't lower the intelligence of our national security. I'm sure by now, if BNI officials are listening to you, they will cringe. Are you sure? They will cringe and tell you and say that, ah, I have a how, basis do, you, for how that. do you expect we to say that and tell the minister that the uh, uh, strike by teachers is caused by NDC? Why? Mm. These teachers, Aren't they intellectuals? Yeah. Don't they know that their salaries have not been paid? And so... Arrears which you refuse to pay. They, don't they know that their uh, arrears have not been paid? Mm. And so, it is, is it not legitimate to go on strike? Never mind that they went to court and the court said that their strike was illegal. But are strikes not recognized under our law? The law allows for strikes. Labor Act allows for that. So to sit down and say that national security briefing from where? But why am I saying that the minister suffered from, uh, suffers from uh, verbal diarrhea? Yeah. You remember at the Independence Square, when they did that, their shambolic um, postings, and parents had to pour onto the, 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 the grounds of the, uh, the Independence, well, Square. Independence Square. And Young children, parents were collapsing. You heard what the minister said. That is a stage manage. Yeah, the NDC brought them there to, 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 to begin to fall down and, and fake their collapse. Can you imagine? You took water and things to them. Can you imagine? <laughs> so, if you are a minister and you speak this way, you don't help the situation. It's bad and he must be told in straight language, like I'm doing, that he must watch the way he speaks as a minister. But the teachers, I'm happy because on the day that the order came out, they insisted they weren't going to back to class and I understood them because the order was not served on them. If you have a court order, it is, you don't go through the media and be announcing, I have a court order, who, yeah. I have a court order <laughs> flanking it. You must serve it on me. So I'm sure between 6 p.m. and maybe the following morning, they would have been saved. Now, the following morning, that was yesterday, I heard them say they've called on the strike. Mm. That is show of respect to the or court. Now, don't forget that this was an ex party motion, meaning that they went, the Labor Commission went alone there and they didn't hear the side of the teachers. Now, after 10 days or before the expiration, it should be even before the expiration, mm -hmm. The Labour Commission must repeat the application for, and this time on notice, for the teachers to also be there with their lawyers and then to argue. If they fail to do that, after the 10 days, the order expires and the teacher, teachers can Regime. go back yeah. to strike. So, like he's saying, 
how are they utilizing the 10 day grace period that for me is important i think that at this point there should be some form of arbitration which arbitration if they come to if they come to um, conclusions on the arbitration it will serve as a uh, consent judgment and then they can file it in court now if they have that arbitration and there's that consent judgment and they file it in court it will now become a judgment of the court if government now reneges, if the government refuses to implement the roadmap that they may have during the arbitration, they can now go to court and enforce that order. All right. So I think that that's the way they should go. Mm. That's my piece of advice to the teachers. All right. And, and that's There's all time will allow me, unfortunately. Who so well on this that, that's all time will allow me. I wish you <laughs> oh, could talk go, let, me, yeah. let me comment okay. there, Imani boys. Uh, hey, sorry. Ima <laughs> Imani. <laughs> men. Imani men. Okay. <laughs> they are brilliant guys, sharp guys. Uh, when I read the Imani first report, very, very analytical, detailed. They paid attention to almost every promise made. Uh, in the manifesto, and that's excellent work. Would you have said to me they gave you 27 percent? Yeah, if based on the analysis they okay. made, I, I, I wouldn't, you know, uh, right. argue, you know, I may mm. disagree, but okay. I would have accepted it based All on right. the analysis they made. They're, okay, they are sharp guys. My time is up. Uh, we have to go. I've been speaking to lawyer Abraham Amaleba, he is a member of the communications and legal uh, committee of the NDC, and Mr. George AEC is a communications director of NADMO. Now, quick one, just to correct you. So, according to the statement by the GES, um, out of about 120,000 teachers yeah. that, um, you know, needed legacy areas, yeah. well, they had paid 87,556. Yeah. That's not 95%. The 95%, 72%. yes, yes. Uh, that was a total staff of validated for payment. Okay. So, they hadn't paid so 95%. So, between the 72, the 72 thousand uh, percent the, yeah. and then the 95 there's see, validation see, one yeah. Yeah. of 23 percent yeah. 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 under the end under the end they yeah. said they will pay the 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 three, three months were given to them yes three the months rest they had the rest, no, no, the rest was there was a roadmap to no, pay no, no 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 then this book came and abolished they said they came and they abolished this before they came and abolished three months and then the rest of the month they have to exactly they have to spread it over they can't period they came and canceled this book just like how they cancel for polos I mean, ahead of elections and also what their manifesto would say as well. But